Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'll be talking about the severe weather that will be taking place on Sunday, uh, April 12th, uh, 2020. There's going to be some large storms down in Alabama and stuff. Today I'm going to be going through that and talking through that. First thing I'll be looking at is the uh, national forecast chart for today and tomorrow and day three, obviously Sunday, which is um, uh, pretty helpful. So today there's not much. Uh, there's a little bit of a severe threat down in Texas. This is where it's going to start today, then tomorrow, and then it's going to go right through here. Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Louisiana, Arkansas, all around here. Almost right on it. So tomorrow's, this is where it's starting to develop. I have storms up here even. But the severe and then the heavy rain is likely here. And this is the day that everybody's worried about. Heavy rain, flash flooding, and severe. And it's very very likely for long track tornadoes and the problem with that is it's going to be really rainy because of the chance of the floods that this could be really bad really quick it this is not going to be a very good storm i would be prepared if you live in anywhere near that area down in um, those states like i mentioned the south east this next running or thing i'm going to check is cape which is uh pretty much just the potential energy in the air in its joules per kilogram Let's see. Uh, on the radar, you can tell. It's going to be crazy. Let's see. Wait for it to go. It takes a second. This one's a little tougher to load. The cape is pretty much how updrafts are formed and everything like that. And how there's rotation and energy that causes most of these severe storms. It's, it's got to load. But I'll go through a little bit more cape. It's mostly how larger storms are created by the updrafts and the rotations it's you have to have a lot of cape for the biggest storms okay here it works now you, you have to have cape and cape is one of the most important things in develop of development of any storm and there will be a lot of it in the atmosphere going on sunday down in the southeast come on the wind is all blowing to about the same direction right now uh, east, almost straight east everywhere. Except for here, it's going a little north. Oh, why does it take so long? This one's a little tougher to, like I said, to load. It takes a little bit. Hmm. But as you can tell, there's some over Kansas there at about, okay, there. This is what I'm talking about. This is the Cape. This is on Saturday, going into Sunday. This is where the storms are going to start popping up over in Texas. They're going to move along this line right here and be just really devastating because there's a load of Cape. Hurricanes have a lot of Cape. This is going to have a lot of Cape, too. Like I said before, this is going to be a dangerous thing because it's, how much is it? 3,000 3, joules per kilogram. That's a lot of cape. Connected to potential energy, something like that. Just, it's going to have a lot of energy in this storm. Going to my favorite resource, uh, the obviously the connective outlook. This is today, like I said, there's a little bit of an air mass that could be causing some severe storms down in Texas today. Right to the left. I don't, I don't know where that's at. I can't think of a like a, here wait, Big Springs, Texas, I guess is in there, just mostly, there shouldn't be really a large scale one, and let's see, tornado chance, probably two in that spot, two, yep, wind, probably 15, yeah, 15, yep, same, wind and hail are exactly same, so for tomorrow, Second to load here too. Okay. Let's see this. This one's going to be a little bit more. This one, these, these are going to start developing probably late, later Saturday night. Whoa. There we go. Day two is this. Yep, enhanced now. It didn't have enhanced last time they updated it. 
now it's enhanced and it almost reaches up to Iowa. Uh, let's see, category 28.05%, wind 15, hail 30% significant, so there's going to be large hail in this storm. This is going to be a very good pre-storm, I guess, of the next one, of the next day. There will be a lot of shear, it says, moderate to strong of elevated buoyancy and strong effective shear will favor organized storms and structures capable of large hail, potentially significant. Anything about tornadoes? No, not really. But it'd just be really buoyant the air. That's what that's what Cape is really. Uh, day three. This is the day that I, this is the day I'm. I we're watching. Day three. Moderate. There's already a moderate, and it's two days from now. That's pretty crazy. I'll be updating a few more day, on the next few days also. But moderate. This is gonna be very large. Tornadoes. A few tornadoes is likely. Uh, the prob probabilistic, they don't even have that yet. But there's going to be a 45% chance of something. Tornadoes, hail, wind, significant. Well, with 45%, that's a lot. That is crazy. This could be a very large outbreak. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens there. That's It's going to be a very significant outbreak. Hopefully there's not too much, but there could be a lot of tornadoes. Okay, this is for those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the severe thunderstorm risk categories. Uh, okay, so the lighter green, this is just thunderstorms. No severe. Marginal, uh, very isolated, limited in duration, cover, intensity, so that'd be around here, up in Virginia. Scattered is slight, scattered, severe storms, short-lived and or not widespread, isolated, intense storm possible. I mean, there could be some severe up in Kentucky and stuff. Very, some could be really severe, but not really as much. Uh, more uh, persistent and or widespread, numerous severe storms possible. That'll be right around Louisiana and then the outer Alabama area. And then enhanced or moderate is likely long-lived, widespread, and intense. This one, this is where you start getting into the severe category. This is in upper Louisiana, uh, western Alabama, it's, that's that's when you start getting and then high there's no high in this one but that's when you start getting really really severe this is like this is tornado outbreaks historic tornado bear outbreak type category that's usually what that means otherwise I think that's about it for this video um, see you guys next time thanks for watching uh, stay safe on Sunday I'll probably have another update tomorrow I probably have one on Wednesday too or sun I don't really like I saying Wednesday uh, on Sunday too. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.